Hey everyone, welcome back to another video over the Wreath Network on TriHackMe. Today we're going to be taking a look at Task 39, AV Evasion with PHP Payload Obfuscation. Now that we've covered the basic terminology, let's get back to hacking this PC. We have an upload point which we can use to upload PHP scripts. We now need to figure out how to make a PHP script that will bypass the antivirus software. Windows Defender is free and comes pre-installed with Windows Server, so let's assume that this is what is in use for the time being. The solution for this is, we build a payload that does what we need uh, it to do, preferably in a less, uh, or slightly less than common way, then we obfuscate it either manually or by using one of the many tools online. First, let's build that payload, and we can grab that right here. Uh, so here we check to see if a get parameter called wreath has been set. If so, we execute it using shell dot or shell exec. So we can see that we are getting that parameter up here and then we're executing it. Wrapped inside HTML using the pre-tags <clears throat> to give us a uh, clean output. Um, and we can see those pre-tags right here. We then use uh, die uh, to prevent the rest of the image from showing up as garbled text on the screen. This is slightly longer than the classic PHP one-liner or one -liner web shell for two reasons. If we are obfuscating it, then it will become a one-liner anyways. Uh, and two, anything different is good when it comes to AV evasion. We want a different payload. We now need to obfuscate this payload. There are a variety of measures we could take here, including but not limited to switching parts of the exploit around so they're in an unusual order, including all the strings so they're not recognizable, and then splitting up distinctive parts of the code. So for example, um, the shell exact section. Let me go ahead and scroll down here because it's cut off on my screen. Manual obfuscation is very much a thing, but for the sake of simplicity, let's just use one of the available, uh, available online tools. The tool uh, linked here is recommended. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Looks like we have a PHP obfuscator website, nice. When it comes to web obfuscation, these tools are generally used to make the code difficult for humans to read. However, by doing things like obfuscating variable slash function names and encoding strings, they also prove pretty effective against antivirus software. Let's go ahead and stick that payload in here so we can go ahead and just paste that in, uh, then activate all the obfuscation options. So we can go ahead and do all that. There we go. And we can see if we scroll down on here that we've checked all the boxes as we want everything. Click the obfuscate source code button and we're left with this mess of PHP. Wonderful. If you look closely, you'll see that this is very much the same payload as before. However, enough has changed that it should fool Defender. Uh, albeit that is a very low bar to clear uh, depending on the day. Uh, if you look closely, you'll see that this is still very much uh, the same payload. Yep, we've already read that. As this is getting passed into a bash command, we'll need to escape the dollar signs to prevent them from being interpreted as bash variables. Uh, this means our final payload is as follows. We can just copy this too. Makes it nice and easy. Go ahead and mark that as completed since we've generated our payload. With an obfuscated payload, we can now finalize our exploit. Once again, uh, make a copy of an innocent image, and uh, ensuring that you give it a name in the format of uh, shell-username.jpg.php, uh, then use exif tool to embed the payload into the image. So let me go ahead. I'm going to grab another fun image. We'll be right back. That's weird. I found another image just by looking around randomly in the internet, not Googling JPEG images. Why would I ever do that? Uh, it's weird. Let's go ahead and hopefully close that tab. Hold on. My VM has decided it's not going to play ball, so I'm going to be right back. All right, we're back. I needed to give it a moment to figure out what it was doing. Uh, so we have that downloaded. I've named it Island uh, initially, and then I changed it to Shell-Dark. Uh, let's go ahead and move it from... Let's go up a couple directories. Uh, we can just work with an base wreath directory. That'll be fine. So move, uh, da, 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 downloads, I believe it's going to be shell-dark, there we go. We can move that here, and then we want to go ahead and move that again to rename it to be shell-dark.jpg.php because we want it to be executable on the web server. There we go, we can see that we have that here, wonderful. So we've got that, and then we can use exif tool to, we can just copy this command to echo our payload. 
into our wonderful new file. So let's go ahead, paste that. And go to the end there. Uh, mine is a JPEG file without the E. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then exif tool. And then shell. There we go. We can see that our wonderful uh, shell has been shoehorned into the comet field. So we should be ready to go. So upload your shell and attempt to access this. If this worked, you should get output similar to the following. So we should get a bunch of garbage. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that back up. Uh, the network died on me in the middle of recording this, so we're going to go ahead and see if it lets me actually upload it. Um, and we need to go to the Kali home directory and go into wreath. Um, and then we want all files. Let's see. I want shell.php.dark. Uh, we can go ahead and try uploading that. Let's see if it's going to work for me. Okay. File uploaded successfully. Let's go to resources. <clears throat> we'll open this up in a new tab. And then uploads. Uh, and then shell-dark.jpg.php. There we go. Wonderful. So now we can see that we've got all that garbage output, but our shell is working. We effectively should have command execution. So mark that as completed. And now we can execute commands using the wreath get parameter. So let's go ahead. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so I can actually read this. And we need to put a question mark at the end. And then we want wreath equals uh, let's do system info like the example says and we'll give this just a moment it might take a moment to run and there we go we have command execution what is the host name of the target that is going to be wreath dash pc we can see that right up here and then what is our current username include the domain in this so we can go ahead and get that uh we should just be who am i so we'll give it a moment. We are wreath dash PC uh, forward slash backslash Thomas. So wreath dash PC backslash Thomas. There we go. So we'll go ahead and mark that as complete. And that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go over task 40. But until then, happy hacking.